besides monitoring your Google reviews, you also have to be monitoring your Q&A section on Google. And I found this very, very surprising that most business owners, they're not monitoring their Q&A section. And very much often people do ask a lot of questions on there and nobody's responding. And other potential clients or your competitors are actually responding on behalf of you. So you gotta be monitoring that section and responding to it. And you should also be creating your own Q&A, your most uh, frequently asked questions on there to your advantage. So let me show you. So when you Google your own business, on the right hand side, it will list your name, address, phone number in the knowledge panel. And of course it displays your reviews. This is the section you gotta be monitoring. But if you scroll down a little bit now, is you will see a Q&A section down here. If you click on it, right, people actually, your potential customers actually do ask you questions. So you can see over here is do you service Parump? That's about an hour away. And supposedly they should. And somebody from there should have responded to this. And this is crowdsourced. So others can also jump in and respond as well. So this is a section you want to put your FAQ, frequently asked questions. For example, if you're a window and door company and you do not do glass repair, you can actually put your own questions here and respond to it. Right? If you offer shower enclosures, then you should put, do you offer shower enclosure and respond to it, to your advantage here. So that way you're not getting a lot of phone calls for those services you don't provide. Let me show you for a funeral industry. On the right hand side again, this is a, gotta be monitoring your reviews. And if you scroll down a little bit, this section here, Q and A, right? And somebody should be responding to this. And you should be creating your own FAQ. And let's look at Krause, Fear Home, their location out in Brookfield. You can see there's two questions already. Once you click on this, when ordering flowers, when should they be delivered for a 10 a.m. service? You can see two questions and nobody responded to it from the Fear Home. This one here was responded by a local guide. So this is um, crowdsourced. Anybody can jump in here and respond to this. And who knows whether this is the right answer or not. That's why you gotta be responding to this. One more example for another location. You can see there's FAQ here. When was Aaron Rick Olinger there in his date of birth? Same thing, somebody should have responded to this, or if this is a, um, right, not a frequently asked questions, probably should flag it as well. You want to answer it, or if you know that per who that person is, respond to it, but you can actually report it or flag it for review. So this is a very, very important section that I found that most business owners they're not responding to them, right? So first of all, go in and check your whether anybody has asked any questions in your business listing. If there is, make sure you're responding to them. But if it's not a one of those FAQ frequently asked questions and it's one of those weird questions, just go ahead and flag it and get that deleted. Then you want to replace that with the FAQ. For example, uh, if you're a if you're at home, you might want to put, for example, um, do you offer cremate, pet cremations? And then if you don't, you put no, right? We do not offer pet cremations. So that section actually gets a lot of engagement. You do not want um, the crowd to be answering these questions for you. You should be answering those yourself. Okay. <laughs>